Alatra International Public Movement has been created with one goal, to inform people about climate and to create a global demand to unify science to solve the climate threat. With this purpose, multiple international conferences, online events and different activities were held to attract people's attention to this topic precisely. Unfortunately, almost from the beginning of its creation, Alatra International Public Movement faced a wave of accusation, defamation and smear campaign organized by Russian Orthodox Church and specifically its anti-cult department Rotsiers. Eventually, a severe campaign organized by Russian Church led to a complete ban of any activities of Alatra and severe prosecutions of Alatra International Public Movement participants on the Russian territory. Right now, criminal cases organized and multiple people were hurt. Multiple searches, criminal cases, prosecutions, and so on. Turns out that the head of Russian Church Anticult Department, Alexander Dworkin, is also in charge of a huge international network of anti-cult organizations. So his rhetoric has been promoted in Ukraine through the agents of Russian Church in Ukrainian media. And now the very same disinformation, propaganda and defamation is being shared in Europe and the US by the people from the very same network connected to factories. By the way, the organization that has status in the United Nations, but also supports Russian invasion. So how is that, that so many NGOs and so many uh, professors and academia were calling uh, Blinken and uh, Macron to shut down this bizarre um, organization which violates any possible human rights, and still yet we are seeing this insanity happening in democratic states. Of course, this network was organized not against a lot, right? It has much higher geopolitical reasons and usage. And I highly recommend reading this article to actually, actually get to know about this network of disinformation that operates in multiple states in various parts of the world. Another source of information of this network is the Impact documentary in eight parts uh, that was released in summer of 2024.